from Australia post saying that my Adidas order is arriving today so I'm super super happy because my 700 V3s in the Alpha colorway finally arrived now it took a minute for this to get to me these released on the 11th of April and I got them from the Adidas Australia website it wasn't too difficult to cop like I woke up at 6 50 they dropped at 7 o'clock and because the Adidas site like picks people randomly I think to get into the site to purchase it so I managed to buy my size which is a six and a half I'll go into sizing a little bit later but since these are here today I thought I can finally do a video about them this is what they look like it is obviously a triple black colorway and Alva is a Hebrew term that stands for the Exalted One or His Highness. I just really, really like them. As you guys know, I am a fan of the 700 silhouette in general, but the V3 in particular, I feel looks really, really good. It is definitely much more sleek and minimal compared to the V1s or the V2s. We've also seen an all black colorway previously with the Venta colorway, which is in the V2 silhouette. And even though these are both triple black colorways, Colorways, I feel like they just look very different on feet. The V2s definitely come off a bit more retro and more dad-like compared to the V3s but I feel like they're both nice in their own way but currently I'm really feeling the V3 silhouette. I feel like the V3 is definitely a very seamless design so when you look at a sneaker you can't actually see any visible top stitching so everything is sort of like fused together or anyway the stitching has been hidden so I think that's a really nice clean detail and you can see here it has this RPU cage that goes over the sneaker and this cage is also glow in the dark so again I love glow in the dark details it never really gets old for me even though no one is looking at my shoes in the dark but it's just like a little novelty thing that I feel like it's it's kind of nice. There is also a tiny bit of reflective detail on this sneaker which is over here on the tongue so obviously if you take a photo with flash you'll be able to see that come through. Underneath the RPU cage you can see that it has this monofilament mesh and to accentuate the pattern on the mesh you can see that they've used like a light grey colour. I think this is very subtle, I don't think it draws too much attention to the pattern and I feel like it definitely works. And overall the sneaker is very very minimal. So moving lower onto the sneaker you'll notice there's a little panel here just right above the midsole of the sneaker so this is translucent but because it's black it's not very noticeable with the Azale colorway it has like a gray little panel so it's a little bit more obvious that it is somewhat translucent and I feel like this is designed for breathability purposes perhaps and then also with the sneaker it features a neoprene sock liner so the fit on these I would say is quite snug I've spoken a little bit more about the details on this sneaker when I unbox the Azale colorway so if you guys are interested you can head to that video I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out as well in terms of fit I feel like these definitely fit quite snug mainly because of the neoprene sock liner so for me I've gone half a size up and they feel really really good so yeah I would definitely recommend going at least half a size up for these ones in terms of comfort I find that they're pretty comfortable even though there isn't boost in them so if you look at the outsole of the sneaker you can see this little cutouts with the yellow EVA foam peeking through so that's the EVA foam <laughs> instead of the boost that we're used to on like 700 V1s or V2s but having said that though even though it doesn't have the boost I still find them to be like pretty comfortable I don't have any complaints there if you're someone that really enjoys like all black sneakers I feel like you would definitely enjoy these and for me I like all kinds of sneakers <laughs> so I guess I'm probably not the best person to advise you on that but you know I feel like there's an occasion for every kind of sneaker and all black for me definitely works because I feel like I don't have to worry too much about the sneaker getting dirty I do wear my Azale colorway quite a bit but I feel like 
I would probably wear these a little bit more, especially if like the weather isn't that great or anything. I wouldn't mind wearing these out because they are all black. It would not be that obvious if it does get dirty. So that is the 700 V3 in the Alva colorway and I have to say, you know, it met my expectations. I mean, I already have the Azale colorway so they're obviously not that different, it's just a colorway change, but I really like a triple black sneaker, so this is definitely a cop for me. And I feel like this wasn't too hard to cop because it was a wider release compared to the Azale colorway that they did initially. And these also came out in full family size run and the retail price was 380 Australian dollars. And I feel like they're definitely worth it. So this is my most recent sneaker pickup, even though it feels like it's been a long time, it only just arrived, took, you know, a casual two weeks but it's totally fine. I'm so glad that they finally arrived today and I cannot wait to just wear them at home. <laughs> just like all the other sneakers I've picked up recently, they are just for, you know, flexing at home, but that's okay. I also want to share with you guys some things that I picked up from Farfetch and one thing I have to say, Farfetch shipping is so on point. So even with everything happening with the current situation, I kind of thought that the shipping might be delayed slightly, but it was it was still on point. So huge shout out to Farfetch for keeping the shipping on point. But I thought I'll show you guys some of the things I picked up. One of the main things that I've been really enjoying lately is this Elix necklace. If you guys have been watching my previous vlogs, I feel like I've been wearing it almost every time I film. I just feel like it looks really, really good. And I do have a 10% off code with Farfetch at the moment. So I'll leave it on the screen so you guys can use that if you're thinking about purchasing anything from the Farfetch website, it'll give you 10% off. It's not an affiliate code or anything, so I don't actually get anything from it, but you guys get to save some money. So yeah, feel free to use it if you guys are interested. Um, but yeah, back to the Elix necklace. I've been really enjoying it lately. It does come in a few different versions variation. I think that's one that's like much shorter. It also comes in gold but I decided to go for the silver one. I prefer wearing silver jewelry because of my hair and I feel like it just matches because it's a bit more cool tone but yeah I feel like this necklace is like quite versatile even though it is more so a statement necklace. I've also worn it like over this fleece jacket which I think is Quite a vibe, I think, anyway. The other thing that I got from Farfetch is this Heron Preston long sleeve tee. And this is under the men's collection and I really like the colorway of this. It's sort of like a off-white, very, very, very light gray color and it has this like orange detailing. And then on the back here, it has this embroidery. It just says NYC. And yeah, this long sleeve is super cozy. I got this in the medium and I feel like Maybe I could have gotten a small, so I would say the fit for this is definitely oversized. I don't actually own anything from Heron Preston, so I feel like I should have looked into sizing a little bit more before I placed my order. But I also prefer my clothing to be a little bit too big than too small, if that makes any sense. So I decided to go for medium, but if I were to buy anything from Heron Preston in the future, I'd probably go for a small. But yeah, I think this is really, really cute and really cozy. And then you can see here in the sleeve, it has this like very signature Karen Preston patch logo thing. Um, but yeah, I've been really enjoying orange as a color lately. I think mainly because of the Nike Dunk Syracuse colorway. So I've been like trying to incorporate a little bit more orange in my outfit. So this is definitely something I can't wait to wear when we're out of this self-isolation life. And the other thing I picked up is also this t-shirt from the brand called Pleasures. This was actually pretty affordable and I really like the Pleasures embroidery here. The material is quite stiff and it's quite a boxy cut so just keep that in mind if you're not really into like boxy t-shirts. And if you guys watched my previous vlog then you would have already seen this long sleeve tee. And I really really like this. I think out of everything that I purchased this is one of my favorites. This is a long sleeve tee from a brand called Brain Dead. They did a North Face collab, was it last year? And I didn't cop any of it, which I kind of wish I did because they had quite a few cool pieces. But anyway, I will settle for the main line. So this one I got in a size small. When I'm in doubt in terms of sizing, I generally go medium, especially with menswear because I do like my clothes to be a little bit oversized but I think at that time they only had small left so I picked small up and it actually looks alright. I would have preferred it to be a little bit bigger 
but I think small fits quite well. So this definitely has just a standard fit if you guys are wondering. And unfortunately, I think this is sold out now. They do have some other really cool pieces from the brand on the Farfetch website, so you guys can check it out if you're interested. But yeah, I feel like this is definitely a vibe. I really like the color of the t-shirt. It's kind of like a washed gray color, and I think the contrast with the strong graphic prints look really, really cool. And last but not least, I got a hoodie. So it's from the brand called Earth. 3TC and again this was quite affordable and it just has this like really nice embroidery on the front I like the fit of it this is a size medium and it fits like slightly oversized which is how I like my clothes to fit and yeah I just feel like this is something super easy to style can't go wrong and it also look good layered you can wear like a bomber jacket over this or you can just wear it on its own or just wear it like lounging around at home which is what we're all doing at the moment and you know flexing from home um but yeah those are the things that i picked up from farfetch recently and i think that is pretty much it for me today guys Everything that I mentioned in this video will be listed and linked in the description bar below and also my discount code again if you guys are interested in picking up anything from Farfetch. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the 700 V3 in the Alva colorway and whether you copped a pair. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys really really soon. Bye. You are, 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 you are,